Well, shalom, ladies and gentlemen. I am sort of doing some work here on a on a Friday evening. Uh, try not to get too mad about it. Uh, try to learn something from it. If you're doing any of this kind of piano work, uh, I've got my little uh, fire stick here, 30 watt unit. I decided this is the best way for me. You might have another. Your mileage may vary some other kind of way. You may have some other thing, but what I found is some of these uh, little elbows are much harder they haven't fragile on me they haven't brittled on me so the plastic melt method uh, works equally well on whether it's an old unit that's that's uh, badly fractured or still in one piece and waiting to crack I'm replacing all these things and I uh, hope you like the watching these videos I'm gonna just do this thing uh, and uh, you can see how easy this is. I already did a video on this, but this is just another one. I like making videos, I guess. But you get in here with some some heat. Make sure you have enough heat on the on the the fire stick. Make sure it's good and heated up. Because you want to leave a minimal stuff on the. Uh, you want to get in there and break it out of there. So you have to have the heat to do that. I'm still learning how the best angle is on this. And maybe, they're not, maybe the heat's not up yet. There we go. See how clean that is? Do you see that? Maybe not. But I bring it around all the way to where it's now facing you and apply my heat right at the top of the crown of the thing. Try to work down to the, the pin in the whipping because you got to free this plastic from it. Like so. And it might give you the courage to do this job yourself if you if, rather than paying somebody. I don't get in a rush over any of this stuff. You really don't need to be. I'm not getting paid by the hour to do this work. So I don't care if it takes me three hours to do it. pick it up in a minute yeah I'm just trying to burn the top of these things off so I can drop them out through the hole like that it doesn't take much to clean up the uh, the weapons afterwards either Poor soldering gun. Doesn't know what's hit it. And the one hit the floor. I can guarantee you this is a faster way of doing this than than breaking up trying to break them out. I like Mr. Firestick for this. I bought this thing for to fix a computer and it's just been kind of sitting. I'm glad I remembered it when I got into this little problem. Yeah, there's two of them. It's easier than replacing spark plugs on a motor. Did plenty of those. Yep, 
just peels right on out of there. Oops. Sorry about that. Didn't mean to hit the camera. Yeah, I think this thing, uh, the soldering gun needed to warm up a little bit more. I got, got, got in a rush trying to do this. Once the gun's hot, it makes pretty short work out of any one of these. And like I said, you really want to try to keep it, keep these out of the uh, the wood itself, because you don't need to, you know, mark your mark your territory. You really don't want to show your show people that you were in there. Yeah. Like Bob Ross said, you can't make an ugly mistake on a painting. On these, you know, they're all going to come out one way or the other. And then just got happy friends. They're all ugly by the time you're done. So I got ugly friends. See that? Just comes right on out of there. Yummy, yummy, yummy. This stuff kind of has the, uh, the consistency of a walnut. When you break these pieces off, it's kind of like a, a walnut. They got little pieces of white all over when they crumble. You probably want to ventilate your room if you're doing it in a studio or something like I am. Let's go ahead and Rearrange the camera a little bit. Work myself off the screen. I hope I can get these three without having to rearrange things. Of this mess. Oh, look, there's only one left. It's easy. The rest of the stuff will come out with a, a little needle, a little needle pick. Or the edge of a, a small knife, some kind, just get in there and chip away at the stuff. Let it, it's kind of a, a waxy substance. And uh, let me hold one of these up couple of them. You can see what happens. It, it really does a pretty good job of removing the, uh, the elbow. As you can see, you hit it right there above the pin and uh, it allows you to remove it with minimal deformation. Isn't that better than beating the stew out of this stuff with uh, channel locks or uh, needle nose pliers or whatever else you might have been using? Uh, these, uh, oh, there's a secret to getting these off too, but that's the next video. Thanks for watching.